Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris from windsound.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of the uses for the test oscillator plugin in Logic Studio, including a way to tune your room to get the best sound for your workspace. Let's check it out. To open it up, go to your inserts with an audio track. Go down to utility and over to the test oscillator. And now what the test oscillator does is it plays a repeated frequency at whatever frequency you have it set at. You have complete control of that. Now let me turn down the volume just a bit. Okay. As you can see, it's playing whatever this frequency is that I have it set to. Now you can also change the waveform too if you want. Right now it has it set at a sine wave, but you can also change it to square waves, white noise, pink noise, and so forth. You have a few options there. All right. And now the way that this can be helpful is it can help give you the appreciation of what your room sounds like or even what your headphones sound like at specific frequency ranges. And now you can also take it a step further too to use this to help you tune your room by setting it to whatever the specific frequency range is that you want to get better control of in the room. Stand and sit in your work chair or walk around the room, go to different corners, see how it sounds. And then, then you use uh, absorbing items or whatever you have lying around or whatnot to change the sound till that specific frequency range sounds better. And also, just like any other plugin, you have a specific, you have different default settings, as well as the option to save a def to s save a default within the plugin, or to save the setting that you have here as a new default. Now, another option that you have in the um, in this plugin is called the Science Sweep. To use it simply select sign sweep and what this does is it sweeps through the whole frequency range by you get to choose what the star frequency is I'm gonna leave it at 20 Hertz you can also choose the ending frequency how long you want it to take As you can see, it went from 20 hertz to 20k hertz at a sin only once because I didn't select continuous within 10 seconds. It can also be changed to whatever, whatever you feel, whatever suits your needs best. You can always get in touch with Chris at Winksound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos, including these titles featuring Logic, now available on demand at Winksound.com. Oh, oh, oh.